Coke and a drink of champions. Um, good morning. Uh, day three on this Jessica Alba paint job. Um, the first day I spent four hours on it, as you've seen if you saw the first video. Um, the second lot on that first video um, equated to three hours um, on day two. Uh, so we are seven hours into this paint job now. Um, I'm not spending that much time on it every day because I'm, I'm kind of juggling everything else I've got to do because um, I've got I've got customers waiting for their guitars, so a few hours here, a few hours there, you know, and it, it gets everything done. Um, so, time for a few more hours on on little Jessica here, um, and hopefully I'll uh, I'll have her finished. Uh, the hair might take a while though. Um, it's uh, come here, my lady. A little complicated, but. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. The most difficult part is getting the facial features right because if you get them even the slightest bit off, it won't look like her. That's the fun with portraits. Uh, so, I'm not happy with the tassels over. Um, uh, nah. They don't look right. So, uh, I'll work them a bit as well a bit later. Um, but yeah, there's some. Um, Let's see how well I can do on this today. then I clear coated this yesterday um, and uh, it's, it's gone nice and hard now um, and I'm just doing the um, wet sanding because as you can see in the reflection there there's something called orange peel um, which basically a you know, nasty rough surface because um, my clear coating skills aren't great yet 
Uh, I'm still practicing that one, so I end up getting that. There's. Okay. Is that right, Kay? Mm -hmm. okay. It's Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so my clear coat skills aren't superb yet, so I end up getting this. There's uh, there's no difference in the finished product, it just means it's a bit more work for me to flatten it out. Uh, so I've got some 1200 wet and dry on the sanding block, and uh, as you can see I've already been doing the, the bit over Jessica, and uh, you can see the difference from how it's come out the gun to how it is once I've flattened it. Still needs a little bit of work, there's still a, a couple of little faint shiny spots, especially around her tummy there. I don't know if you can pick them up on the camera. Um, but yeah, I've basically got to go over the whole guitar and make it like that with the wet and dry. Once it's completely matte with no shiny spots left, then um, I can get in there and buff and polish. I, uh, I don't know if I'll put more clear on this yet. Um, because some people clear it, flat it down, then give it an another couple of coats of clear. Um, so we'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just finish flattening this down with 1200 and we'll see where we're at. Isn't that right, Kay? Yeah. <laughs> we got a problem, haven't we, Kay? Yeah. Yeah, it's all gone wrong, hasn't it, Kay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What we've got happens sometimes, it's not the end of the world. We've cut through. Right there. Yeah. See the white dot? We've sanded right through the clear, right through the paint, and back to the white base coat. So. You want one? Oh, hold on a minute. Um, I'm talking to the world, hold on. <laughs> So um, I'm going to have to clear it again because obviously the fact that that's happened means that there's not a lot of clear left on there. I mean I only put three coats on to start with anyway. But the um, the orange peel was so severe I've, I've sanded it all off again. So um, I've stopped there. Uh, I've sanded the rest of the guitar down to the same sort of level. Um, you can still see some shiny bits there. Look. Ideally you want it all to go like there, but um, I don't want to risk cutting through again. So another couple of coats are clear. Um, and uh, obviously after I've airbrushed that bit again, just dusting a bit of black on that little bit. Um, then clear it again, let it go hard, and then we do all this again.